Hi, this is Herman from Platinum Racing Products and I'm going to walk you through a bit of troubleshooting with misfires, R35 ignition coils and our various uh, stalk kits, whether it be Gen Next, silicon injection, rubber molded stuff or our existing or older Teflon composite type machined stalks. First things first, installation when it comes to sticking your white stalk into the rubber that comes off the 35 coil and these are really easy to pull apart you won't damage it you just pull the rubber back wobble it like that don't lose that resistor don't lose the spring but sometimes in some of our kits you'll have to pull off the rubber and use it onto one of our this is a CA18 stalk put it on there and you can see straight through it now the seal with the inside of that rubber is absolutely crucial into the base of our stalk. It has to touch down the bottom, then on the inside wall, then on the outside wall. Spark will find the least path of resistance and it will try and get out wherever it can. It doesn't want to go through the spark plug, that's too much work. It's going to try and escape everywhere. So you need to ensure that that seal is absolutely immaculate. Now. Whenever we troubleshoot, which happens quite a lot, it's always installation error. So I really want you to take your time in installing these. Don't bend the springs. Don't, uh, don't stuff anything up when you're installing it. Don't grab a lip and let it go unnoticed like this one that I grabbed before putting it together. I've made the mistake myself of getting it to not grab properly. And you end up tearing the little silicon rubber in there. It's all very crucial. So. You want to make sure that it slides in, twist it as you get it in, make sure you can see all the way through it, make sure you've got a good seal everywhere, and then you can put your spring in. Now, some of our instructions ask you to cut the spring. Please just make sure, depending on which revision coil kit you have, you don't want the spring to be too short. So once you sit the spring in there, you push it in a little bit, you want it to be five, eight mil, 10 mil under the surface, but not much more. Then once you get your resistor, pop it into the coil, then you push it together like so, till it clicks. You wanna make sure that the body is all sitting nicely. Then obviously it'll go through whichever bracket you're running and that's how it should end up. Now, a good way to know whether you've got an issue is to shake it. There should be no clicking. If you can hear the resistor bouncing around, Evo is a great example. You know that the spring isn't making proper contact with the resistor. You're going to have a mad misfire. You're going to overwork the coils. You're going to burn them, melt them, and then blame us. And we're going to say, hey, you probably installed it incorrectly. Go and have a look. No, no, no. It's all done as per the instruction manuals. They turn back up to us, I pull them apart, or one of the techs pulls them apart, and you can see that either the spring's been cut too short when it didn't need to be cut. We now try and include a purpose-made spring for every kit that we do, whether it's the, the next-gen stuff has an, uh, an adjustable, when I say adjustable, you can cut it down any one of these bunched sections to get the right length of spring. But you just want to make sure that the spring's touching the spark plug, and the other end is touching the resistor. The spark plug has to be a resistor spark plug to run with an R35 coil. And just because it's got an R in front of the part number doesn't mean it's a resistor plug. That could merely mean it's a racing version plug. So please be very careful as to which spark plug you're using. They have to have a resistor. You can end up with gremlins throughout the system. EGTs might be dropping out one at a time because you don't have a resistor spark plug. It causes issues everywhere. These ignition coils are designed to run with resistors, so please run resistor plugs. Now, the other issue that we most commonly have is other than assembly instructions and bunching them up together, the springs are too long or too short. You wanna make sure that you're not bunching the spring up too far into your ignition coil stalk. I had a set the other day on a CA18, I counted 12 issues as to why this thing was misfiring. You only need one. So please take your time and make sure that it's right. Now, with our Gen Next type silicon stalks, here's a 
JZ1 that we're about to release, they come with the right length spring. You just drop it in there. You get your coil with the resistor in it, push them together, and it should only take a second. No shaking, you can't hear anything. That's it, that's all there is to it. A bit of dielectric paste on the inside where the spark plug sit, because you don't want tracking of any sort of electrical current down the ceramic. It'll burn a groove into the ceramic and spark will get out. It'll earth out on the base of the spark plug. A bit of grease around the base so you can pull it out and put it back in with ease. Shouldn't be too hard to get in and out. Sometimes they, they come apart when you're pulling them out, but it's just the way it is. I can't think of a better way to do it. So until I, or someone comes up with a better suggestion, that's how it is. But we feel the new silicon injection version uh, that you don't have to install the stalk onto the, onto the rubber. There's very little room for error. I think they're fantastic. They work well. We have very little recourse. We're still phasing out some of our white Teflon versions, but that's it. Other than dwell and make sure you've got the right current at your coil, not just what your computer's telling you. Um, you want to make sure you probe at the coil harness. You've got 12 volts or 13 volts or whatever it is and whatever you've got in your load cell on your tune is what dwell you give it according to our dwell chart that's posted all over our how-to section on the website so you don't want to over dwell the coil you don't want to drastically under dwell it two milliseconds fine three milliseconds across the board it'll work but if you want to really push the coil to its maximum performance it's usually a tad before saturation and you can run it as hard as you want for as long as you want, as long as you don't go over that number, it won't start to increase in core temperature and melt, but you'll get the maximum performance out of it. And please take your time and make sure that you've installed it correctly before you go and hit us up about it, although we're happy to help you troubleshoot, but most, if not all of your problems, are gonna be right here in the installation. So by all means, any feedback or questions, hit us up, but that should be everything you need to know about different stalks and how to avoid misfires. Thank you.